Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Derek Welker and today we will be discussing some tips on how to master the spline tool. There are two types of splines found within SOLIDWORKS. We have the traditional spline and the style spline. The traditional spline is controlled by a number of different things including curvature, constraints, direction, and even the weight of the tangency vector. The style spline is controlled by vertices that act as an external structure used to manipulate the geometry. The style spline is much easier to define, but we'll take a look at each so you can determine exactly what fits your needs the best. We'll start off by creating a two-point spline using the traditional spline tool. As you can see, this creates a single line. Once I select on the spline itself, the controls are displayed. This is where we can just adjust the spline to best fit our needs. Moving these points, you can see we have the controls to adjust the angle, the magnitude, and to adjust both together. Let's take a look and see how powerful the spline tool can be. Overlapping the next section might appear that a two-point spline cannot accurately trace the logo in this case, but you will see that it does the job nicely. Another thing about the spline tool is that if you determine two control points are not enough, you can always right-click on the spline and add an additional spline point. The style spline is different in a way that you do not control it using points on the entity itself, but the control polygons instead. Creating the geometry using the style spline takes some getting used to because you're creating the spline using those control polygons instead of the points that lie on the line. Once the spline is created, it can be, manipulate, can be manipulated in a similar fashion as the traditional spline. The one nice thing about the style spline is that you can dimension any of the control points or lines to lock that spline in place or even make it easy to recreate. Being that it is dimensioned in a specific way, you can go back and recreate it in other sketches or parts, however you like. If you like the ability to control your spline using both techniques, you have the ability to turn on the control polygons for that traditional spline. This will allow you to manipulate the spline using either functionality but maintaining the traditional spline. This will, you also have the ability to change the spline type once it has be, been created, which is a very nice feature. Hopefully this tech tip allows you to be a better spline user by showing you exactly how the spline tools work. If you are looking for some more tips on splines, my colleague, Jesse Sprague, wrote a blog called Bad Spline Day that you can find on the CAD Dimensions blog webpage. So please give that a read. Thank you for watching another CAD Dimensions tech tip. See you next week. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.